Well, what an uh, amazing One Day Special we are launching right now. When one, uh, one Day Specials, uh, you know, are good value for money, they are amazing designs, and this one, well, it's both of those ones, and especially the, the amazing value that you have got in here. Now, you have got two options, and of course, whichever option you go, it's groovy. They are beautiful, wor a beautiful words, poetry collection, and you can go for the set number one, uh, which we are having a look at the minute, and you're getting six plates in total, A5 uh, plates, of course, with beautiful poems that you will recognize, that will speak to you, and of course, those beautiful borders as well that you can use on their own. Now, should will you want to for set one, or maybe set two, which we have got here as well, they are not repeated, so, you know, they are, completely different six plates in there. Now you can see there that there is a 16 pound saving in the, uh, both bundles. However, to the we had a person to talk us about the one day special is on the phone, Paul Church from Clarity. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? I'm very well, and uh, you know what? You always, with, with, with Clarity and Groovy, you always deliver such a timeless designs and they always resonate very deeply with me. I, that's great. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous um, designs. They were illustrated, um, it was a joint effort with both Barbara and the lovely Mel Turner. Um, and for me, what we're looking at here, we've got 12 be beautiful plates, you've got 12 beautiful frames, and then you've got 12 fantastic verses, sayings, poems, prayers, mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous. They are, and of course, you it, at home they can buy them separately if they want to do. But then we will talk that it is a complete collection to get all twelve of them as well, and you have got an additional saving. However, uh, you know, like you were saying very well, is that it's not just words, it's not just frames. It's the ability to do the poems, is the ability to take bits and pieces from each plate. That's right. I mean, that's one of the great things I love about the Groovy system is that you become the designer. Now, with these designs, you can just trace them out exactly as they are. Um, you could put them in a picture frame, and it's a beautiful piece of wall art. Um, but you can pick and choose different elements from different plates, and you could take the flower from this one, you can take the verse from the other one. The mixability and the interchangeability is absolutely amazing on these. And, and also, I love the way that the proportions, you can change them as well, that you can make them. I mean, one of my favorite poems, the William Blake one, is one of the plays, is the to see the world, uh, to see heaven in a wildflower, to, you know, and a whole eternity in an hour. You know, you can take words from it, and like this sample I'm showing, and then recreate it. It's just so much versatility that you have got in this, uh, fabulous bundle. It is, and the, when we look at the designs, I mean, you've got music in there, you've got sort of flowers, you've got butterflies, it just covers so many. For me, the key thing really is sort of like the, the frames, because yes. again, you've got that versatility of using the frame exactly how it's designed, or just chopping them up and taking elements from it. Absolutely, I, mean, I have got a sample that I want to show. The, when you mentioned the music, and then you can use the frame with the music and take away the words, and it's a completely different um, sort of mood even for the cards. That's right, and again, when you're using sort of the designer parchment or the colored parchment, it can completely change the look of how um, how it's been designed. Um, mm. And as you said, you've got option one and option two. Um, we've also done a fantastic bundle where you can get all 12, where we've carried the savings from both of those over and giving you additional saving with a storage folder as well. Um, and then also on the show, we've got the beautiful stamps. Now we've got yes, four indeed. different options on the stamps. Um, two of the options are brand new. They've never been in stamps before. Okay. Um, and then you've got a, a, a saving on each of the individual sets. And then, as Clarity always does, we put a big bundle together where you carry over that saving yeah. and get the storage folder to keep them all in of as course. well. So it is an amazing thing. We will be talking about the stamps, of course, uh, in, a, in a short while. Ha uh, thank you, Paul, so much for uh, for being with us today over the phone. We will, uh, I think we will be uh, seeing your demos as well as Barbara's during this hour. So yep. we'll let you get go going. Thank you so much and uh, stay safe. And do it. I'll speak to you at 8 o'clock. Okay, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Paul. Okay. Now, uh, at home, one day special, you have got set number one, which is uh, this one, the one that includes the William Blake poem. 
I'm just uh, William Blake, of course, Maya Angelou, that beautiful words, and Mahatma Gandhi as well. And remember that you can choose whichever words you want. If you want to just use, use, use the um, frames or elements from the frames, you can do that as well. Now, you have got a set number one, and remember, you saved 16 pounds there. Uh, now, or set two which we have got here as well. And also it has got that 16 pound saving. Now, however, remember that they are all different plates. If you want to go for the full collection, so that's all 12 unique plates, plus the storage folder to keep them all safe, you have got an additional seven pound saving. So we, we bring forward the 16 pound saving, 16 pound saving, so in we'd add a seven pounds and then you have you are saving 39 pounds because you are getting also the groovy uh, storage folder however freedom members have got even an additional saving which means that actually so why not deal i believe it's almost a way so if you're not a freedom member become one because if you are a freedom member you will get them all 12 plus the storage for 89 pounds and 87 pence and that includes p on p so it and also you have a flexi option as well so you can spread the cost into three interest-free payments of 29 pounds and 96 pence your item number for the complete collection is 039183 we are very busy very busy now we are going to show you demos of course we are and here is our first one Hi, for this demo, I'm going to be using one of the poetry plates from the One Day Special. Um, I've taken my inspiration from a card created by the lovely and very talented Tina Cox. And when you look, what she's done, she's created this beautiful frame and used an element of the plate just to create this beautiful um, inner frame and then finish it off with the beautiful sentiment on the inside. So what I'm going to show you during the course of this demo is just some various different variances on how we can adapt that, some little techniques, um, little bits and pieces rather than recreate the whole project. So where do we start? Okay, what I've done, I've done a little bit of cheating. I've used our Pico squares to create the outside of my card because I want to concentrate on doing some pico cutting on the inside. So I've taken the second largest um, pico die and I've die cut a piece of parchment. I've then taken our beautiful nested square extension plate, which we've also got on the show, and I'll just lay that over there and you can see that what I've done is I've just traced out the inner frame to give me the basis in which to work from. For me, this is a must, it, I always use this a lot. It's, it's one of my go-to plates because you've got that various extended sizes squares. You've got the beautiful picture frame inside. You've got a lovely alphabet on there as well. Um, so this is great for sort of personalization. So what I've done is I've traced out the design as I've just shown you just there. And you can see that gives me my basis to which I'm going to work within. Next, I'm going to take my calligraphy plate mate, which we also have on the show. And this holds all of our um, A5 plates. So whoops, let's just go out a little bit more so you can just see that. There we go. So there we go. So that's the um, calligraphy plate mate. So if I, let me just bring that forward a little bit there. There we go. And we can see that. And then I'm going to take my plates, which I've got stored in my folder, and I can go through now and choose the one that I want to work with. So this is great as an indexing system because you can flick through and see exactly what you've got. So I'm going to go with this one. And it's got this beautiful sort of leafy and bubble design around the outside. And when you look at the actual plate itself, you'll notice that um, it's got a really nice frame around the outside. So for me, the versatility of all these poetry plates have got beautiful frames as well as a beautiful verse. And the versatility of the groovy system is that you can pick and choose the different elements. So what I'm going to do, I just want to concentrate on this area here. So what I've done is I've already started on one 
um, so that we can jump to and concentrate on various areas. But let me just show you where the different parts of it have come from. So what I've done, I'm lining up the frame so that I can take elements of it. And I'm using the edge of the plate to guide me so that I know that, that I'm positioning this so that it's in a straight line and it's not wonky. But you'll decide exactly how you want to position it if you give this one a go at home. So I'm gonna use my groovy tabs just to hold this in place. And then from the starter kit, I'm gonna use the number one tool. And the number one tool is gonna give me that beautiful crisp white line. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit now so we can see exactly, whoops, there we go. I'm just gonna zoom in now so we can really sort of see what I'm gonna be doing. So I'll just move that up a little bit. I'm gonna use my groovy guard to lean on. I'm gonna wipe it with the tumble dry sheet. And what that does is it allows the tool to glide more easily within the grooves. So I'm gonna do two different options depending on what level you're at with your parchment craft. I'm gonna do one where we can do some pico cutting. So a bit of perforating and pico cutting. And then another one where we just leave the design exactly how it is and do a little bit of white work. So I'm just tracing out the main points there. Now on this one, I wanna do some white work. So what I've done is I've jumped over to the other end of the tool, to the number two, and because it's got a larger ball on the end, it doesn't go into the groove as far. So what that does is it gives you that softer line. So we're just gonna trace out this bit here, okay. And you can see, if you jump out of the groove, nothing's gonna happen. So I'm gonna swap that round, lift it up with the groovy tabs, reposition that where I want the next one to go. And again, using that guide. So I'm gonna come over a little bit here and just tape that down in place. And then we're gonna go with the Number one tool again, and just trace out the design. See these frames that you're gonna get with the one day special? For me, it's sort of like, it, it's like a, a double whammy because you've got the beautiful frames that you can pick and choose, and then you've got those great, fantastic poems and verses on the inside as well. So for this one, I've just left the main image there okay so now when we turn this over you can see how I've got my complete frame Oops, let's bring that down a little bit and if I zoom out now am I gonna get this right first time to zoom out no didn't be covered there we go so it's left to out right to in <laughs> okay so now you can see how we've started to to build up our design. So the next thing I wanna do, before I start doing um, any sort of perforating or pico cutting, is I want to apply some color. So to do that, you've got options. You can use the Perga color pens, which are double-ended, or you can use the Perga liner pencils. And for me personally, I prefer the pencils because I've got a bit more control with them. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, decide where I'm gonna put my color. So I've gone with an orange because what I've already done is I've chosen my background colors. So I'm just gonna put some color in to those areas there. Okay, and again, I'm not worried if I go over the line because with the magic of the pencils, you can take an eraser pencil and you can rub that out. So I'll do this one here just to show you. I'm not gonna do both of them. And then I've got my green pencil, which I'm gonna put some color in there. Okay, and you don't have to be an expert at coloring in. Because for me, it's the magic of the Dorso oil and the blending pen. So I'm gonna take my blending pen and a nib 
and I've already loaded up some oil onto my spot on sponge and all I'm going to do is just dab lightly into there and then I can go in and start to blend that colour and the magic of the dorso oil is that it breaks up the pigment and it turns the pencil into a more um, it looks more like an ink or a paint and I can just go along and just smooth out that colour so, and because you've got these fine tips on the end of the blending nib you can really get into those detailed and fine areas so I've done the yellow bit there and I'm going to swap over to a different nib to do my green just on the outer part there and you can see how it starts to break down and really change the look and for me it gives it that little it gives it more of a professional look so now if I bring this up close let's get my piece of phone and if I bring that up to the camera where are we going there we go you can see now how we've got that beautiful colorway so if I turn that over, you can see how it's starting to come together. Okay. So the next bit of what I want to do is do a little bit of white work on this area here. See where we've got these little dots? Just to show you and give you some different options. So if you want to, you could color those dots in as well. But because I've traced them out with a number two tool, it's given me that softer line so that when I apply white work, it, will, it won't give me that rigid outline. So in comes my best friend. This is the Pergamano Embossing Mat Excellence. And for me, being heavy handed, it gives me a little bit more control when doing white work. I'm gonna use my Groovy Guard. Now these ones here have already had one layer of white work already. And what I'm doing, I'm using the number four tool from the starter kit. If you've got the Pergamano ball tools, then you would start with the biggest one. And all you're gonna do is you go, you, you go up and down, and you go left and right, and then you go in a circle. Because what that does, it prevents you from getting sort of like a little dot just in the middle. So I'm just applying the pressure, and just going round. And what you would do is you would leave this for about half an hour, and then come back to it and then go down to the next one and as you get smaller and smaller the area will get whiter and whiter and you'll see I'm following that same process going up and down left and right and round and round in a circle and for me these little areas here are great for practicing on as well so if I bring this in now you can start to see how this one here has had two layers and this one here has a, just the one layer. So I'm going to stop at this point here um, and we'll go back and we'll have a look down the counter um, and when we come back I'm going to do some pico cutting, perforating and pico cutting and I'm going to show you a few more little finishing off tricks. And we will say part so in just a second. However, I just want to remind you of the one day special. You have got two options, set number one, set number two. There are six different plates, in, in they're not repeated across these one day specials. You have got in each of those one 16 pound saving. So 16 pound saving, if you go for set number one and another 16 pound saving if you want to go for set number two however most of you are going for the full collection the full collection you get set number one set number two plus a groovy uh, groovy storage plate of course perfect you can see there and that is the most popular option a quarter of the stock has already gone now that of course you have got the 16 pound saving from each so that's 32 pounds carry forward plus an additional uh, six, well, seven pounds if you're not a Freedom member or if you are a, a, a Freedom member, 16 pounds and 99 pence. So in total it's 48 pounds and 99 pence saving if you go for the complete collection. 
and that of course includes PNP if you are a freedom member and if you are not please do become one six pounds and 97 pence is what it costs you but you will have free PNP for the rest of the month anyway you can see in here the uh, of course and the amazing uh, plates how they are gonna look on your folder remember that you have got them all 12 plates the beautiful poetry collection now you can see them here but also you can see how the beautiful words you can select them use them as they are or you can create the elements the butterflies the flowers the trees on their own completely beautiful and create your own images you can see the butterflies from the previous one and now here uh, suddenly the words start appearing but look at that change the proportions bring your traditional pergamano into it remember that there is an amazing saving if you go for the complete collection and the complete collections will give you like a Paul was saying 12 beautiful poems on prayers, 12 beautiful uh, frames, 12 beautiful plates in which you can mix and match everything and you are the designer in which you create your own amazing piece. If you want to go for the complete collection do check out your baskets because we are going to see the part two of our demonstration by Paul. Hi welcome back. So now what I want to do is a little bit of um, perforating and pico cutting. And we can make this if easy or we can make it difficult. Why make it difficult? Let's make it easy. So what I've done, I've taken my plate mate from the starter kit and I've used one of our basic grids. Um, you get a straight and you get a diagonal. So I'm gonna use the straight one. And what I've done is I've lined up the line within that frame with the row of dots underneath. Now when we're perforating, we perforate from the front. Previously we've been working on the back of the parchment. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my groovy guard to hold my parchment in place. And I'm gonna take a one needle bold because the grids have been designed to work with a bold needle tool. And all I'm gonna do now is use the grid to perforate a completely straight line. Now, if you're feeling confident with a straight line, you can just use a two needle tool. But for me, it's just as easy just to use the straight grid to give me that perfect straight line. So you can see I'm holding the tool upright and I'm just going along and perforating. And then what I'm gonna do is turn that around so I can go up against the straight line there. Now, normally I would use a light panel, but I'm not sure how the light panel would come out on the overhead camera. So just to make it easy, I'm just gonna go, I've got the super foam underneath and then I've got the Pico foam on top so that I can see exactly where I need to go. So I've perforated my straight edges in that particular area there. So if I bring that up to the camera, then hopefully you can see where we've just been. Now here isn't straight. So this is where the two needle bold tool comes into play. So I'm gonna remove my plates out of the way. And I'll remove my little groovy tabs. And what I'm gonna do now is get my two needle bold. Now with the two needle bold, it is what it says, it's got two needles. And basically what you're gonna do, I'm gonna use my groovy guard to hold my parchment in place. So you go into one hole that you've, where we've left off, and then what you're doing is you're increasing one hole at a time. So you go back into the hole you've just come out of, and what that does is it gives you that perfect pitch and spacing between each of the perforations. And that will really help get a beautifully finished Pico edge. So we're just gonna go along to the end. There we go there. So now we can see, if I bring that up, we've got that Pico or the perforating all the way around. And what we're looking for is this along here, which we've used the die for. 
So again, you've got choices. You can do the pico cutting, like I've started over here, or you can just do some white work and leave it completely solid. The choice is yours, okay? So, pico cutting. My weapon of choice is the ring lock scissors. Um, we do the ring lock scissors, the exclusive, and also the perga cutters. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the camera in as close as I can. So that, hey, got that right this time. So we're gonna move that so we can really, hopefully, see. Just wait for it to refocus. Just go out a little bit. There we go, I reckon that will do it. And when we're pico cutting, the bit here is the waist. This is the bit that's gonna fall out. So I come in with my fingers underneath. There we go, I come in with my fingers underneath. It's gonna be fun trying to get this, there we go. And then all I'm gonna do is the tip of the scissors in and then I tilt towards me and squeeze the scissors slightly, okay? And what you're looking for is, you'll get used to it, you'll feel, you know how far the scissors need to be open each time. And you just want to get that beautiful little pinched effect to give you the Pico design. Now for me, when I first started doing Parchman Craft with the Groovy system, it took me about six months to perfect my Pico cutting. Sometimes I have good days and sometimes I have bad days. But what I find, it's easier if you turn your work to you. My hand is really comfortable where I've got it positioned on the mat. So, again, we'll just turn that round. Yeah, there we go. And we can then just carry on and do the pico cutting. And once you get into a rhythm, for me it's quite therapeutic, it's quite relaxing to hear that little snip, snip, snip. And I'm just gonna go along and just finish this bit off here. And then again, we're gonna turn that round so I can carry on and remove this piece in the middle. Again, the groovy guard really comes in handy because it holds my parchment in place. So we're almost finished on this bit here. And then I'm just gonna go in there. And now we've got our Pico cut. So what I'm gonna do now is zoom out and then I'll hold it up to the camera. So let's bring that out slowly. There we go. And then I'll hold this up to the camera so we can see. Let me see, where are we going? There we go. Oh, it's a bit like hit and miss this one, isn't it? There we go. So we bring that up and you can see, not perfect, but you know what? It gives the overall effect. Okay. So a couple of little finishing tricks. You see how we have this beautiful thin frame on the inside and on the outside? This, it doesn't matter how fine your pencil is, you are likely to possibly go over the edge. So this is where the Pergamano ruler comes into place with the groovy grip. So what I've done, the groovy grip's in place so it's not sliding around. And I've lined it up against the white line. And what that means is if I just pop it on the, the white line itself, I can go in against the edge of the ruler and put colour into that frame. So I'm going to turn it round. So the colouring, again, you would do this before you've done um, any of your pico cutting. But I just wanted to just show you how you could easily infill very, very fine straight areas. So we're going to pop that Again, just on there. And just by putting a little bit of colour into this area will really make the frame stand out. And for me, the key with the Pergamano ruler 
is the groovy grip so it doesn't slide around. So we're just going to put some colour just in there and then when we turn that over, let's hold that up there, let me bring that in, probably can't see it, let's put it on some white, you might see that a little bit better, whoops, there we go, can you see that? There we go, so you can see you've got that colour within the frame and you can do that on the rest of the layers as well. So to sort of, some, again, some more little finishing tricks. So I've taken a piece of the Toscard. Remember I mentioned earlier that I'd already chosen my backing paper. So I've got the beautiful Toscana designer paper, which I've used the Pico squares to cut out. That sits on top, and you can see the colours really complement that really well now. And then I've got choices. If I put my verse in and then I did all the Pico cutting and I've made a mistake, um, I've got to start again, obviously. So rather than put a verse in the middle, what I've done is I've used the Pico squares to cut out a number of squares and I've gone with different um, verses. So for example, I could put this one here, people will forget. Or I could take another plate that says, if I had a single flower, so again, you've got that versatility of mixing and matching the verses from the different plates to the different designs. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. And that is part, of course, the complete collection, those beautiful uh, words in there and the beautiful kind of any way that their frame you can create and make it into different ways. Now, a third of the stock of that complete collection of the poetry collection has already gone. So please do check out your baskets for that one. And remember the total saving if you're a Freedom member. So I think it's 48 pounds and 99 pence, which is phenomenal value for money. Another thing that has got lots of different savings is the sand version of these artwork. Now, these ones come in trios. Uh, should you wish to go for the first trio, of course, we have got that option. And remember, they are in a different size and, of course, the medium of a stamp. And you can see there that this, the verses, the words are one stamp and then the other elements are, whether they are a frame or different elements, they are separate stamps, so you build it up. This is the serenity option and you can see there the beautiful words. It's more of a prayer sort of words that you are getting in that one. The next option you have got is this tree that in front of us that has got of course the musical notes in there this is life now again another five pound saving because each of the trios has got that five pound saving gorgeous words gorgeous frames in there then we have got the gorgeous again they are gorgeous eh? uh, this one is kiss of the sun and then if you want like you can see that i'm going to put just one sample here so you can see there the beautiful in here and we will see more of them uh, in a second but just just you can see the fine detail of this stance and then finally we have got the happiness now happiness is another trio a six a size of their set of the stamps in there are so we have seen that there's four trios there each of them has got that a five pound saving so four trios times four times five that's 20 pound savings now if you want to go for the full collection that 20 pound saving is carried forward and plus an additional eight pounds so 28 pound saving should you wish to go for the full collection and you are also getting the clarity stamp a6 um, uh, storage folder so you can have all your stamps plus some more in there 36 individual stamps now of course you have got that way the flexi buy option to spread the cost in interest free payments now what we do we get of course they are the beautiful words the beautiful frames that you can use use now the ability to create your own landscape to create your own almost like book of prayers if you know what i mean your your emotional as you know kind of your words that kind of inspire you to for positivity and you know like this the rain falls soft upon your fields and until we meet again how strong that is for these days now of course the music in here we have got that border and remember the border is separate from the words so you can mix and match what about bringing some you know doodling into the frame and create something extraordinarily different and then of course that sentiment that is included 
also I love how fine detail those words are because remember those words you can then bring them to your art journaling to your mixed media elements just put them I like that they are small because you can maybe stamp them onto a parchment and then you can then maybe put them roll them up into a, like a vial sort of thing you know those those little glass bottles so you can have messages in a bottle a one for every day but you can see the detail you can see the quality of course the you know the renowned quality of clarity stamps I have to say I love this image of the rabbits or the hairs here because how different and yet elegant and how I just think that they are that sort of word that I like to use with with clarity timeless reminiscent of maybe an innocent time gone by but look at that how beautiful are they they are extraordinary and that of course is in the part of the complete collection complete collection 10% of the complete collection has already gone and I'm not surprised there is that amazing saving remember there is five pounds saving in every one of the trios and there is four trios so that's 20 pounds and that 20 pounds carries forward plus an additional eight pounds and the storage folder as well. 36 stands that storage folder. You can split the cost should you wish to do that. But however, I know what you want to see now, don't you? You want to see Barbara demonstrating. So here she is. Hi there. Gorgeous poetry plates and stamps here um, designed by Mel and myself. Uh, let's just take a look at two of the new ones and uh, the reason I want to flag these two up is because of the size of the actual verses. Um, I mean the, the frames, the, you know that these are just going to be absolutely beautiful to use and they, they're all interchangeable with the, with the existing plates as well. Of course the clouds and what have you, they're all independent. But what I wanted to show you was the quality of these tiny little stamps because I, I really was drawn to the, the size of them because they were so small and I thought right I need to, I need to investigate this. So if, for example, I, I ink up this tiny little stamp, let's just have a look. How small is this verse? Look at that. Today well lived makes every yesterday a dream of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. I want to show you how crisp, let, the, let it focus. Look how crisp that is. And look how small that is. That's less than an inch and it's as sharp as a razor. See, I think that's impressive. And what I want to do today, the, the, the happiness one, same thing, let me just show you, just for the sake of argument, I just want to show you there are no tricks here. These are just top quality, fantastic, tiny little stamps. But they, they will sit beautifully on, on the back of any card, on the inside of any card. They're so small and so so unobtrusive but they pack a real punch they're not the centerpiece for example that that these larger verses are they are they are very modest very subtle but they pack a real punch so i wanted to show you just to get them in perspective now let's have a let's have a little play now many of you may be familiar with this waterfall in the waimea falls paper just to put it in into size for you, into context, that sits in there that perfectly. But not, interestingly enough, the Waimea Falls paper, let me show you something. If I take this paper here and I cut it in half and I turn it round, look, that looks pretty formidable as well, doesn't it? And I've still got this piece here to play with because that's the top half of that. So when you look at this, don't think for a minute that you, you, what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get and a whole lot more. So bear that in mind. Look, there's another wonderful landscape there. I was just trying to show you the size. So what I want to do now is take a piece of old scrap again, a bit of um, copy paper, just to show you how you can use this. And I want to use, let me just show you one that I've already done what I did earlier. I want to use the butterfly frame and I want to show you this side I've done to completion, this side I haven't, but I want to show you how it looks almost uh, like see-through. Look, let me just hold it up, let me offer it up to this camera 
and you can see because of the shading, the drop shadow on this side, it looks as if it's, it's just um, hollow, like a die cut, doesn't it? But it isn't, it's a stamp. So let's have a look at that. Very easy. All I'm going to do is take a piece of old scrap copy paper and then I'll use my stamp and I'll link it up with a black archival. I'm just going to put it right bang in the middle. Make sure it's round the right way. Butterfly to the top, I think. Right, and I'm just going to ink it up with a black archival, black Versamark. Just want some good line up. Because this is acrylic paint, we certainly do need to use a permanent ink pad. So let's just ink that up nicely. Turn it over. This is a fast drying ink pad so we won't dither. And then we'll just press. And then we're just going to press on that stamp and we'll just it's a large stamp. The frames are beautiful and large. And like when you, I think you can get so much uh, mileage, not out of just the frames, but also the verses. You know, these are, these are beautiful, just perfect. And just press on that butterfly. Right, if you've got a, there we are. So we've got that lovely image now, huge image as well. So there we are. If you have a look, you can see stamped up nicely. And then I'm going to take my little happinesses as a butterfly, the one that actually comes with the butterfly frame, and I'm just going to stamp this into the centre, but not bang in the middle, just over here to the left. And we're just going to pop that in there like so. Give a little wiggle, let the ink soak in. Perfect. Look how sharp that is. It's, it's astounding when you know the size of the stamp, it can only be an inch by an inch and a quarter, and yet it takes the print like in a beautiful book. Okay, so we've stamped on that, we've done that, and then how do we get to this? How can you go from, from that to that? Because it's exactly the same thing, just so that you understand. And all I'm going to do is take some colouring pencils. Let me just show you how we arrive at this. It's really easy. I'm using polychromos. You can use pergoliners. You pick your colour, don't you? And what you're going to do is, when Mel drew this particular butterfly frame, she drew it. It's like, um, it's almost like a stencil, really. It made a fantastic stencil or a die. You see, you can colour it in. It's, it's hollow. So as you colour in the butterfly, just let me show you one by way of example. What you'll see is it's like it becomes like wrought iron. And I haven't I haven't um, done any clever shading or anything. It's just solid, opaque, thick, waxy, beautiful, oily pencil. You see, um, you need a good sharp nib and then just work your way around and that's how you end up all coloured in like that. That is it. That's It's that simple. And so you can see when I hold it up to this camera very closely, you can see that's exactly how we've arrived at that colouring. Okay. Um, if you fast forward to this particular one, then you'll see that I've gone all the way around with the pink. Then I've taken that lovely green and I've gone into the leafery up here. And you can get as dark and dramatic as you like. It depends. I would say when you use scraps like this or the designer paper, you know what? The designer paper, I've got to tell you, because the designer papers are two-sided and because these stamps are so delicate, let me show you from the top. Like if I, I digress slightly, but I'm going to show you this because this is worth knowing. For example, why Maya Falls, when you look at the colours, you'll see that they're quite bright on one side, but muted on the other. So you see, so it's it's quite dramatic on one side, but then muted on the other. Look at this one. Dramatic, bright, vibrant, very mellow, muted on that side. And I'm suggesting that when you use these delicate, if you're not going to use scrap papers and you're going to use designer papers, it's the back. It's the back side, the back of the designer paper will lend itself beautifully to this because it's it's got the lovely tones, but it won't obscure the very delicate line art. Yeah, so that one might work on the front as well, but that one would certainly work beautifully, you see. So you can stamp straight on there and do exactly what I'm doing. That's just if you think that you'd like to use designer paper instead of um, instead of scraps.
So now I've done the blue and the green, let's say. Okay. Now let's go to this side. The blue. No, I've done the I've done the I've done the pink and the green, sorry. And now I'm going to go to the blue. And the blue is where we add this drop shadow that gives it this dimensional look. So when you when you hold it like that, you'll see it looks as if it's it's actually lifting off the page. And all that is is a drop shadow strategic placed always on the same side. Quite simple to do. You just take your pencil. I tell you what you do need, I think, is you just need a little bit of paper or card just to give yourself a bit of a chisel. You see, just do this and then it will just flatten the edge of the stamp, uh, the pencil, sorry. And then as you go round, you just dig in like this, you see, and you dig in on that side and you'll see that you automatically, you get a drop shadow just by staying on, always on the same side. So you just go in and these pencils and the pergo liners, they work very, very nicely on, on acrylic paint. So... See, and then you go inside the frame, inside the images, the butterflies. It's very pretty. And you'll see that that's how you get that three-dimensional effect, by just going inside within the butterfly as well. So you're making it almost look hollow rather than solid. See, you're not colouring, you're not colouring inside, inside of the butterfly. You're, you're giving it a contour, see. So that's how, when you hold it like that, that's how you get your, your drop shadow. You see? And once you've done that, then all I've done is I've taken a piece of double-sided adhesive sheet. Because, of course, when you're working on a bit of copy paper like this, it's quite flimsy, isn't it? I mean, how, what, you know, what would you do if you completed that? How would you attach that to a piece of artwork and make it look lovely? So the trick is to take your, um, your piece of scrap your creation okay and then you attach it you cut you literally you take the double-sided adhesive sheet like this cut it to size when your artwork is ready then you lower your piece down onto your double-sided adhesive there you go you cut it out so that you've got a complete coverage on the back I've got to do that one later Right, so now I've got complete coverage on the back. So now I've created my own sticker or, or um, topper, as we call them, right? So then what I'll do is I'll just take my, just a little finishing trick, before I mount it. Where's the one that I've already, that I did earlier? Let's have a look. Right, so for example now I'm going to take my, my pink pencil, the same one as I used around inside the butterfly and I'm just going to use the flat of the pencil like that I'm just holding it see because it's copy paper but now it's, it's quite robust because it's got the adhesive on the back it's quite easy to do this so you just come down like so see and you can get a really nice see one of the other brilliant things about these pencils as well as if you overcook it or you don't like what you've done you just remove it just take an eraser pencil and you can get rid of it again. So lots and lots of ideas there. And the other thing that I wanted just to show you was, once you've finished it, now you can decide. Let's take that away. Now you can decide about mounting it. But you see how three-dimensional it looks? So I've got choices. I could either mount it on white. That looks pretty. I could mount it on, directly onto black. You see, like that. Couldn't I? I could mount it onto a white card blank, I could mount it onto a black card blank, or I could mount it onto white and just leave a frame and then mount it onto black. It's entirely up to, it's choices, choices, isn't it? I think that looks nice too. Let's do that then. But what we'll do then is, we'll just peel that off, you see. And I'll stick that on. This is a piece of stencil card. So all I'll do is, oh, I'll just use the double-sided finger trick, two, one at either side, and then I'm going to hover over the top. Excuse my head while I just pop this in place. See? Then down it goes. Then I'm going to cut this and that, aren't I? Because I've given myself a nice, tight, a nice, tight edge. So I'm going to just take my perga 
my, my Perga ruler with the metal inlay. It's got a steel inlay, so I don't end up embedded in the ruler. And then I can, because it's got a groovy grip on it, this is pretty cool. It's got a groovy grip on it, which means that as I'm moving around like this, it doesn't, it, it's, it's easy to move. But as soon as I press on it, it stops shifting, you see, which is great when you're trimming up artwork. So I can see exactly where I'm going. As soon as I press down, then when I come down with a craft knife like this, it will, it just grips. It's not adhesive, but it grips well, okay? And then I can do the other side. Again, what's great is it's got a steel inlay, the ruler, so I can see exactly where I'm placing it. I can make sure that it's in the right place. It moves all the time I'm not pressing down hard. As soon as I press, it stops sliding around, and then I'm just going to cut that back, and there we are. And so I've mounted it on white professionally, beautifully. Looks very pretty. Then I'll probably mount it. I'll just take a glue runner. I don't need double-sided adhesive to mount it again. It's just little finishing tips and tricks really, isn't it? So I just need a glue runner to add this piece, this layer to the next layer. There you go. Pop that on there. So which way are we going to open it? We're we going to open it to the side or the bottom? I like the bottom. There we go. So I'm just going to hold it like so, leave it to the left, press it down, and there we are. Happiness is as a butterfly, which when pursued is always beyond our grasp, but which if you sit down quietly may light upon you. And here's one more that I did that's exactly, exactly the same principle, except I used one of the original ones and one of my absolute favourite prayers. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And they are extraordinary words. Whether you are going for the complete bundle, the trios of the stamps, or whether you are going for the one day special, uh, you can find the stamps details on the website, but it is the one day special, the groovy plates. You have got here two options. However, set number one and set number two. However, the, you, you are going for the complete collection because you are want to get the biggest saving. That saving that is reflected there is not, does not showcase the actually all the savings that you are going to get. Because if you go for either of the one day specials, you would get six of the plates with a 16 pound saving in there. So 16 pound saving for set number one and a 16 pound saving if you went for set number two. However, those 32 pounds in total are carried forward to the complete collection. You are getting an additional seven pound saving if you are not a Freedom member. And also you are getting the storage folder. So this is what you would get, like you can store and all the plates in here, non-repeated, of course, 12 unique different plates. However, if you're a Freedom member, you it's not seven pounds saving, you have got 16 pounds and 99 pence additional Additional saving to those 32 pounds, so it is uh, f uh, 48 pounds and 99 pence, and you're not paying P and P, and you will be able to create something as stunning as this. You can, you know, create those poems and make them a little bit longer should you wish to mix and match two of them, those words, those prayers, which I think they are so appropriate uh, these days. But also you are going to have those 12 different frames, those 12 different elements in which, like Paul was saying, you are the designer, you are choosing which elements you are going to bring them. It's, it is you who chooses whether you are embossing or debossing or making that white work to talk for them. That those borders, you can elongate them if should you wish to do that. You can change the proportions as well. You can bring the fox and the tree in here. You can bring your white work, uh, your techniques from your pergamano into these groovy plates. You are the designer, you, but you need groovy plate to transfer this uh, stunning work, these uh, beautiful words into parchment. Now, don't forget there is a flexi uh, freedom option in to spread the cost over three interest-free payments of 29 pounds and 96 pence. And remember, that's all you would pay today and then you pay the second installment next month and then the third month. Now do check out your baskets whether it is for the one day special set number one set number two or of course where the biggest saving is carrying forward those individual ones. They are stunning plates because they are gro groovy, they are from clarity, beautiful words that you are going to use time and time again. 
Now, please, uh, do you, you know, check out for the stamps as well because they are as equally as stunning. Now, after the break, we are going to see you as well, and I hope that you keep tuning in. <laughs> 